We're live mm. right now. Surprise, surprise. Help me. Right here Help on, me. on a dork table Ay. program. Woo woo. With my and I have a kitty cat that jumped in my lap just because she said, oh, I said, oh, we're live right now. And so yeah. she decided, yeah, time to get in your lap. Yoinks. Anyway, th- this is Flash and my co-hostage today is... Grammy Mary, it's uh, Grams. Yeah, it's actually Dork Grams. Let me see. I, I'm using Ice Chat. I need to figure out how I can change my nickname in Ice Chat. Cirque uh, knows all that. I don't mess with it. Every time I messed with it one time. And oh, sh- you know what? It erased everything. It's, it says that we're playing in a perfect world right now. Well, ten sixteen. Well, oh, that's because they haven't <laughs> done the one we're doing yet. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. uh, Whatever. Oh, that's what the barman did. Barman? This is a dork table program. So it's all your fault. We're just going to blame you. Why not? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Blame me. I I don't care. I just did. So there. Mm. So there. So you, you want to do all the dirty work and... Tell everybody where we're at, where they can, where other places they can go to find us when they don't want to use the one they got now. <laughs> uh, you know, the important shit. <laughs> well, guess what? We are on the dork table here on reallibertymedia.com channel three. Hey, Wait, Vinny's in there. Hey, Vinny, how you doing? And what's it saying live right now? Listen to it's not saying nothing. So, next. Hmm, I don't know either. Dork table with Flash. There we are. Noon Eastern uh, time and the Real Liberty Media. There it goes. There it goes. See, I told you. Yay! I and see Grammy. it. Yeah, that, that's, that's Grimner doing that, that good shit he does back there. Ouch. Hey, yeah. Dork cakes. Hello. Because Grimmy is so good. Grimmy's so good. Oh. Okay, Grammy is much louder than Flash. Then I yeah. can't hear you. What? No, I... I think I'm about ready to replace this here microphone situation I have because it's probably needs to be updated, you know, in our obsolete society. I know. You wait five minutes and everything's obsolete. So, yeah, need to update. Five, ten, twenty. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, you were saying. Anyway. Yeah, Dork Table is live on reallibertymedia.com, also on the RLM Spreaker channel, ah, and later to be on the YouTube channel and on the BitChute channel, and you know what, We're also, I think we're also going out on the RLM TuneIn radio station and the RLM Internet radio station and RLMRadio.xyz, so yeah, we're lots of places. Cool. I know. Yeah. It's awesome sauce. Well... It's better than nothing, nothing, I suppose. Depends well, on what you're yeah. looking for. I've tried to tell Vinny, I, I think I have a good sense of humor. Vinny doesn't seem to think so because I use the F-bomb. I use the F-bomb like Trump uses the truth. Huh? <laughs> no, I scatter it <laughs> everywhere I go. All you got to do is figure out where I left it. It's okay. Out, it's out there somewhere. So you use the <laughs> F-bomb like my cats use the kitty litter. Yeah. <laughs> I hit my okay. targets. Uh, I don't, yeah, and then someone else has got to come clean up the mess. I yeah. see how you are. Well, see, I know. I I don't really care. I think language is a matter of interpretation. So it's, it's not the person speaking. It's the person listening to the speaking. You're the one listening. <laughs> It's not my problem. I said something you don't like. Well, there you go. It's going to come out that way no matter if I use the word fuck or not. I guarantee. F-bomb. Only two minutes in. Well, oh, actually, we more than two minutes. But... Yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay. That okay. Was, that was my um, whining. My whining moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jewish. We don't shine. We whine. Until we get our way. And you know what? We get our way a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know you Jewy bass, Todd. Thank you very much, You're Mexa-Jewy. You're a Mexa-Jewy. Wee! 
Yeah, I come from a long line of migrant stockbrokers. <laughs> <laughs> we're the stock and we're all broke, huh? Uh, Is that how that works? I can't tell you the answer to that. <laughs> uh, you have to oh, figure it out for yourself and hope you're oh, right. Oh, one of those things. Ah. Hey. One man's I proof see. is another man's trigger. You know what I'm saying, lady? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I hope you I can see, figure it out. <laughs> no. Anyway. No. You I wanna, try not to figure that wanna, shit out. You want to say hello mm -hmm. to my favorite place in the entire electronic world? In the entire? Mm -hmm. Entire? In okay. Entire. It's an, is it in a tire or what? I don't know. I am. Uh -huh. I'm wearing clothes tonight. I am too. Yeah, winter's coming, so I thought it was time to suit up and do the show with some clothes on. <laughs> yeah, the wife with clothes. The wife Nothing to do with class, but clothes. Yeah, the wife gave me the thumbs down, but I said, "Hey, look, it's cold." <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. There we go. You're a tidbit nipply, eh? <laughs> oh, I think men are mushroom. <laughs> Mushroomably. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> uh, no, you, you've gone all turtle. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> You're all the turtle struck again. <laughs> Hello, RLM. Yeah, so we're here in the RLM right up top as the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. Barman. Barman. The man. Yeah. They're closely followed by Grimner, who is the RLM god. And the lovely Moose Girl is showing up in here as well. Moosey! Man, it's kind of, well, I'll bet she didn't log out. I also <laughs> see the lovely Kate is here. Miss Hi, Kate. Kate! How you doing, sweetheart? And looky there, we got a Chloe and a being touched by Chloe's cyborgan cyborg noodly stuff. We got a cyborg yeah. noodle. Yeah. And, and an echelon. Yeah. And a flasher somebody. That's me. Woo-woo. That's me. Woo-woo. Yay. There's flasher somebody. I'm here as well as layer eight. And looky there. We got a Meister Brow. Hey, Woody. How you doing, hun? And got a double dose of the pox going on as well. Poxified and poxophone. Um, are you wearing your cape? Oh, are you wearing your cape? Me. He's not you. asking me. Oh, I thought he was asking you. Why would he ask me that? Because you said you put clothes on. Oh, Dork Cakes asked me that. Yeah. I thought he was asking somebody else that. I don't, my mind just <laughs> kind of went, I'll check it out. I'll be back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. I don't know if he asked you that or not, but I'm just asking you, are you wearing your cape? Uh, <laughs> at, wow. Wow. Kind of. Yeah, see, I'm messing with you. <laughs> You're on the dork oh. table. If I didn't have a cape, what business would I have being here? Hey, you're a super dork. Speaking of super dorks, you, you know what? We got a pom 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 sauce going on in here too. Bum, I got to finish bum, saying hey. Yeah. Hi, Rain. Rain. Yes, and the lovely fluke, the Vanna White of the RLM channel. She's so cool. I also see Rob Works is here, as well as Rob. Bubbler! I know, the bubbler is the here. Rose. Where's the tiny bubbles, Rob? Who knows? We need bubbles. Um, I also oh. see the F-Bominator Skittles is here, as well as Vinny. Hi, Vinny! Tire, tire up the fubblers. Oh, there you go. Who's I'm a lone frog? Hola, bandito. Hola, froggy. Okay. And uh, the Phantom is here as well as Apostle One. Hi, Apostle One. Asmodeus Asmo Two is also here as well as Colfax One Hundred One. Dakota. Hi, Dakota. Dakota. How you doing? How you Dork doing? cakes. Hi, Dorky cakes. How you yeah. doing, cakes? Cakes. Pancakes. Okay. Uh, let's see. I also see From B Three is here as well as Gromit, and I'm a lone frog. Ribbit, ribbit. It's a good thing you're a lone frog instead of a horny toad because they say rub it, rub it. Uh, let's see. Where am I at? Java, 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 Doctor 2. And JJ's is here as well as Kozu. And looky there, we got a sock puppet as well. So I think that's everybody. everybody. And seven minutes in. And Booyah. seven minutes in. I see? know. And Rob Works just fired up the bubbler. Booyah. Hey, Robert. Good for me. Huh? And dorks, 
dork cake said we're all crazy. I'm uh, crazy. To start out the dork table here, we have an old friend back from the, you know, the farm. What the hell, Mary? Haven't talked to you in so long. You didn't even know I still had a dork table, did you? Did you? Did what? you? <laughs> did well, I wasn't sure, seeing as how Vinny was going on the, on the whatever Vinny, Vinny's going on. Yeah, but so you I know what? Know. Grimner thought ahead of people like Vinny, and he made a thing called a schedule. And <gasps> all you have to do to find out if a show is on is look at the schedule. It's a lot and like it's wait, it's very similar to having a job where you go to work in certain <laughs> days and you go, well, let's toss the coin. I hope it's not Sunday because I'm going to work. No. You look at your schedule. Are you Have you had enough yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> you dork. I, swear. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's why we did this thing in the first place because as brilliant uh, as you are, there are just some little details that you don't give two shits about, so you don't look. You don't pay attention. Well, yeah, yeah, I do have trouble with paying attention. It's a dork trait, though. I mean, it, we all carry it in certain little specific areas, and yours is um, when things conflict, you put the thing in front of you, and that's it. And everything else is gone. <laughs> I wish I could uh -huh. do that. Oh, yeah. I'm very jealous of the way you think. Oh. Yeah, I do have a tendency to do that. Lucky? Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, nobody here gets out alive, so make the best of it, folks. That's true. That is true. And see, I didn't say fuckers. I said folks like a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You people should be impressed with that one. I'm telling you. Well, we should be. But, you <laughs> I know, don't so know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hell, you can only take this dork table shit so seriously, and then you got to start figuring there's some comedy in there somewhere. <laughs> Where did he hide it this time? <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, some yeah. somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> well, yeah, because the funny parts usually come after money, religion, politics, some particular thought. Hey, you know what? I just found the schedule. <laughs> wow. Could have saved you all these years of trouble if I would have just brought this up sooner. <laughs> have I cured you? <laughs> hey, I'm hey, I might be I might be onto something here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let let us ponder what just happened. You Ooh. didn't think of something and I suggested it to you and you looked and boom. There it was. The answer. Had it, only on the dork table would you find that kind of, that quality of journalism. <laughs> yeah. You know, where you asked something and something was said and you followed it and you got where you were told you were going to go. And it was true. <laughs> I know it's scary, isn't it? Welcome to Anarchy, people, because... Um, I don't care if you break the rules. You're not hurting me if you break a rule. I'm hurting me if I break a rule. So that's the way that shit works. Rules? We don't need no stinking rules. No, but we do have a lot of assumptions and uh, what are called social uh, what do you, social convention. Yes, social there, norms. Yeah, they're Who's norm? Hey, well, hey, hey. It's eleven eleven. <laughs> okay, I just had to do that. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still two minutes faster than everybody over there. We'll see how you are. I don't know. So I'm either living in the future in reality, or my clock's different than your clock. <laughs> let's go with. Oh the, my god. Let's go with B, <laughs> just to just to fit in for a change. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah. I know, huh? What, <laughs> what could go wrong? Jeez. So, so now you're learning the, the wonderful side of farming your land, free of government intrusion, and other such matters. Am I correct, little missy? You correct. How did you beat the government? Because they should be all over you for twenty percent, like a, you know, like white on rice. Ha ha ha!
white on rice. <laughs> like stink on shit? I'm racist. No, I said white on rice. I'm picking on a whitey. Oh. Whitey. Whitey hey, hey, is... Hey, hey, hey. What? 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 Hey, hey quit. <laughs> Quit picking on Whitey. Okay. Whitey's this cute little guy from the Little Rascals. No, that's not what you were saying. You were saying... No, oh, no Whitey. That was Alfalfa you were bitching about. Yeah, I was Boy, bitching about Alfalfa, but... How do you yeah. know? Okay, all right. So the guy's been dead for 30 freaking 40 years now, right? And he did all this shit like 85 years ago. And now people are going to tell you what a prick he was. How do you know? <laughs> Actually, um, I'd learned years and years and years and years and years ago that he was not necessarily a nice guy. But, um, you know, and then, of course, well, my mother had told me a long time ago that um, Alfalfa had been killed. Um, She said in a gunfight, but yeah, well, you know, he the other guy had a gun and Alfalfa had a knife and. It didn't work out real well. That's but it he was gave yeah. too much space. Yeah. Sucker. Yeah. Yeah. Guns yeah. are a, kind of a weakling, cowardly weapon when you're fighting one other person, if you know what I mean. Well, yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're the only one that's got one. Oh, you know? yeah. That reeks of chicken shit pussy right there. But that's just the way I see it because, you know, I'm so anti gun and everything. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Meister Brown, is, he's so horny. He's so horny. I am really sorry, Meister Brown. Wow. <laughs> oh, he's out there in the desert, all, you know, with yeah. all that wildlife around him. And I'm sure a neighbor or two, if he looked. <laughs> well, there is a- an answer to every problem. Every problem yeah. has an answer. Yes, and there are cactuses that are very prickly. And Maybe you know, that's what's doing it. You know the best part about it? Is what I don't know, I make up. <laughs> say I say Ooh. it's true. Yeah. And you know what? If you repeat it often enough and you get enough other people to start believing it, then it'll become the true. Like uh, magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, because now that you understand what the true meaning of the word is, the sad part about it is the poor rest of us that don't. Or, or don't engage it with the same uh, understanding. So uh-huh. we're still out here chanting shit that's driving you crazy because you know what the words really mean. Well, it drives me crazy for a little while, and then I move along. Yeah, well, I caught that because you said believe in the way that it's normally spoken instead of what you figured out or learned or what have you. Yeah. Oh, I read something today on the Internet. It was two words, and it I didn't know whether to shit or go to blind when I read these two words together. In the order, I'm going to read them. And it was about that Haley United Nations woman stepping down or whatever. They Aww. called her, and I quote, Indian American. <laughs> okay, you laugh. All right, this just goes to prove my fucking point about all this jibber jabber political crap we get shoved down our fucking throats in 20 years from now. Indian American is going to mean something to people. Okay, and and they overlooked the whole fucking concept of this in the beginning. I harped on this one time, got slapped around good. Is here we have the Indians that lived on the place the Americans came and conquered and took from the Indians. But the Indians took on their slave name of America. Not only that, they were Native Americans. (laughs) Yeah, but I don't think. uh, Are you insane? That's She's not from even, the other India. It's not. Oh, really? Isn't she? Yeah, I think her parents are from the other India. Well, then I read it wrong, but I still got to make that point about how ridiculous a Native American is. Well, I just think it's, you know, she has stepped up on the food chain because now she's oh. hyphenated. Maybe in your, see, yeah, in your view of no, the in world. The, no, not my view of the world. Well, in their food mine. chain, she has stepped up because now she's hyphenated. She, their food chain, huh? Wow. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't, I don't the pecking wanna... order: who gets gobbled last, or whatever. She'll get thrown under the bus eventually. Yeah. Well, so I was talking to Sir earlier today. I think about this weird idea I had. You ready for a weird idea of the week on the dork table? Slightly. Okay. Now, you remember growing up and hearing terrible, horrible stories about. 
pot makes you do this and weed makes you do that and the devil's lettuce you'll be climbing windmills and you know playing the fiddle naked and all that shit right Uh uh-huh okay Mm -hmm. now this is what grew out of the ground i i brought it up because you you mentioned it on your show last night uh now weed grows out of the ground and Mm mm-hmm Okay, so does everything else, but the other stuff that they make actual drugs out of, they're they're handled by human, you know, human beings to change them from their original source into something different. So, uh-huh. comparing a plant that grows in the ground to that is is beyond insane. I think. Yeah. Okay, first off, just the comparison is wrong. Well, but if weed was so bad and they've been smoking it all these years, right? What the fuck was the heroin for? You know what I mean? Um, if they started out and weed was their cornerstone of evil, heroin and all the other hard shit came years later as evil, but their starting point was weed. It's like comparing baseball to football. <laughs> We're, it's not the same game, you know? Yeah. So my question still is, what was the heroin for? If if already, if you already had the most corrupt product that existed in the world, and then you come in with heroin, which is worse, what? I'm confused right there. So, am I just over, you know, over analyzing this to a degree you're not into or... Do you see my comparison? Put your dork hat on. Okay, my dork hat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like I already have the most vile, evil nuclear bomb on the fucking planet, and then ten years later, this guy makes a worse one. Well, well, wait a minute. I thought you said ten years ago that was the worst one, and here we are, eighty years later, and they're saying, "Well, we we were wrong." Not, well, we made up all that bullshit and imprisoned thousands, maybe millions of people over decades and decades, destroyed fucking lives for no other reason than to replace cannabis and hemp with oil (laughs) and other synthetics. Well, and heroin was to make you not notice just how asinine that was. Do you know how few people on this planet use heroin? No, I really don't care either. I mean, you know, unless I'm confronted with someone that's using heroin, and then I go, dude, seriously. Ugh, exactly. Ugh. That's exactly what I'm saying is the, the written threats that they you know, put in our faces on a daily basis. At some point, you make them real if you keep in absorbing it. Well, yeah. Okay. Mm. Now, instead of the government saying to the population, we used the church and we lied to you to make these things illegal so that we could shove all this other crap down your throat. And these are the results of all that good work. Let's try hemp instead. <laughs> I would, I would be like pissed off about you know the past life being fucked over, but at least it would be an improvement to the future. And you know, when I was chatting with that gal the other day at wor- at uh, work, she was saying something about she was getting into uh, reading Hebrew, and wow, I hear the ocean. Um, but she she was reading Hebrew and, and realizing that each character had a numerical number assigned to it and stuff. And so she said it was the original numerology. But then when you look at all of this other fun shit, they say, well, if you're a practitioner of numerology, you're a witch and you must die. So I'm thinking... It's okay for them. So even way back then, it was okay for them to diddle around with this shit. But don't you do it because you just might learn something and then you might kick our asses. Oh, right. Yeah. And then when you take the, the most successful of us and, and you um, you misrepresent what they what they do through uh, stories and, and myths, they call it history, but no, it's not. No, there's an extra S that needs to go in there. His story. Well, I know that. For some reason, you've always seemed to fall into that since I remember meeting you. So, but there's still the official record to deal with and so many followers of it that were, 
I think the proper word is fucked, but I could be wrong. <laughs> we may just be screwed, but I'm pretty sure we're fucked. <laughs> as as, as a, uh, an honest life form on earth at this point in time, we're, we're not pulling our, our end at all. We're living in just this massive ball of shit and lies and deceptions that could be cleared up with the truth about what things really are and these greedy pricks won't do it <laughs> and they're they're baiting the public with uh, a 1.6 billion dollar lottery ticket <laughs> this is how desperate these people have gotten well yeah oh yeah. come on think about it i wouldn't even be interested in something like that wouldn't want a ticket to it don't play it don't care why mm. You know that really I mean it's a very unrealistic number to start with. One you know, it's Uncle Tommy told me years and years and years and years and years ago the way you want to get by with something the way you want to fool people is add more zeros behind a number. <laughs> yeah, it works too. Because it makes it unrealistic and so then they just you know their brain just kind of goes on overload and they just skim right on past it. Yeah, but not at a conscious level. You have to learn these facts about how we uh, perform as as in a thinking process there there is a formula to it but we're not aware of it we just the recipients of secondhand shit from a government that abuses the fuck out of us yeah yeah all of them i mean not i'm not any more particularly fond of the one i'm in than the one i came from is this, this one is so much smaller that they have less, they get, they're less intrusive into other places, which made me think they'd be more intrusive here, but they laxed up on that shit too, to some degree. If you're, if you want trouble, just go to a big city. You'll find it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's th hey, right. right. did what? you know, Grimmy wants to know if a Hebrew or a Shebrew does it, is it holy? And I'm wondering, it depends on what they're brewing, doesn't it? Nah, it it's all a bunch of bullshit, Grim. That's, geez, that's the cornerstone of why I, I love being the, on the Jew. I was teasing Sark about that before the show tonight. Said, you know, at least if the Jews ever do come forward and and stop doing shit behind everybody's back, but just f come forward and face off, at least I've got the circumcision and the nose to be on the winning side. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but. Sadly, I think that the people that have used that name to the date that we're at today in present history, those people are far too cowardly to ever come out from behind the curtain. They're going to stay behind the curtain, and as long as the collective allows them to have the curtain, they're going to use it. And I'm going to be on the fucking winning side. Whatever the winning side is, that side I'm on. <laughs> that means, in my language, that I'm not on anybody's side because to me it doesn't look like anybody's winning anything. It's just a lot of fighting. Yeah. From all, I mean, however the, you can interpret the word fighting, it's being done. And very few people just want to get along. I noticed yeah. it. I noticed it on the R. Oh, Rob Works has joined us tonight. Too good. Thanks. Uh -huh. Hey, it's good to see you, Rob. Well, Rob was having a disagreement with somebody on the RLM chat the other day, and I, I don't like to side in shit like that because you know I got my own abrasive of qualities for people to deal with, and I know it's me doing something, and I don't give a flying fuck what you think about it any damn way. I'm just doing stuff. If it's changing your life somehow, it's because you're you're doing it. I ain't doing anything. You're not? Just, no. I'd like to think I was, but no. Just, we're all, I, I think we're we're conned into this ment mental state of thinking that's just so far from real, it's not believable. We are so invisible in life. It is, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's like ShamWow, huh? Well, it's like that Kardashian crap that you're reading about the other night, right? If mm -hmm. that if that kid's mom didn't raise a tramp to make a sex tape and that, that she did all that, it was a plan. Come on, children don't grow up at random. You 
you mold them as they're being, you know, as they're gr- grown up. They become yeah. what you have put into them. <clears throat> Some people are just really lower on the uh, on the morals chart, I would su- suspect, than others. And money, well, the more bizarre you are in life now, the more money you can make. Yeah. You know, like that idiot Kanye West that's all bouncing out of the uh, White House with Trump and he's supporting him on all this bullshit. That's mm-hmm. the same stupid idiot that was on Twitter asking uh, what's Zuckerberg to loan him a billion dollars so he could make some so he could do business. So he goes on on uh, Zuckerberg's uh, competition to beg the guy for money. It was the most ridiculous fucking thing I'd ever seen. Yeah, but did you know that, not that I really paid a whole hell of a lot of attention when it was going on, but I'd noticed some things and started checking back on it, and he had a breakdown, like a total, wasn't he, I think he was in a coma for like three days or something like that. Oh, no, I have no idea. I'm just amazed that we have a public that is foolish enough to believe that Donald Trump and Kanye West are buddies. And they... Well, but see, I I saw that thing and I started looking back and I went, ah, I wonder if my, maybe somebody pushed a reset button. So we have some little controlled opposition here so we can keep the divisiveness shit going on. See, there's my tinfoil hat shining brightly in the sun again. Now nah, the red side is bringing more sheep into the fold by making the old orange guy buddy up with the little dumb brown guy. Oh. oh. You're you're looking at it. That's what I mean. I see these things in a way most people don't recognize. And I just see them using, you know, they're using both Trump and this West idiot to get more sheep to, to trust them. Oh, I know. It's all part of their little divisive you know, reality thing but to be on stage. Ignor- but- All right. But to be ignorant enough in, t- in this life that we're in right now to believe that a orange haired old 70 year old fucking New York guy that's never touched the ground is buddy, buddy with some black kid alpha, you know, that made his way through music. No, there's probably a blood relation somewhere in there. <laughs> More than likely. Cause you, have you ever heard him saying, no, I, I, I have I, no idea I have, how in the hell he made it through music. I have no idea what he. I all I know is that you were talking about it, about his wife, and I'm just saying the money, this money shit. It's all the players that we're looking at. Could they could be representatives of the person that they're supposed to be? You don't know. We don't. It's the Truman Show. Yeah, we're we're so hypnotized by the shit. We don't even know if it's shit or not anymore. Could be a show. Could be maybe not. That's the point. The apathy. Eh, who cares? What if it is? What if it ain't? Eh, you can't do nothing about it. Eh, eh, eh. And I say, wow. If you people ever decided to stop your fucking lying, I could get on with my life. <laughs> oh, but see, yeah. there you go, expecting them to do something. I got a dork table question for you, Miss Mary. A oh, dork table, I'm, yeah. I, I only, might have a dorky answer. I'm tell only a dork would be able to answer this question. Uh oh. Okay. Da, 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 are, da, are you sitting down? Da, da, da. Yeah. Are you sitting down? Yes, I am. Light actually, your, light yourself up a cigarette. You're gonna need it for this question. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Have you ever seen a poor guy with weed? Yes. Did you ever notice how that poor guy with his little bag of weed was looking for little kids and strangers to give it to so that he could get them high? Mm. No. Me neither. But you know what I did do? What's that? I read about it about a zillion times in the newspaper. About how the marijuana guy is going to come up to you and give you some so that you can come join his cult and yes. sell marijuana. And you, know and you what? must be very, very afraid because you, when your kids go trick-or-treating in Colorado, they're going to get marijuana-laced candy. And then we don't know what will happen, but the ERs are all getting prepped for it. Wow. So. Yeah, but they... 
they've got the indoctrination centers to you know to brainwash the population and to believe in anything they want them to believe and the proof is in the pudding because they're just making marijuana legal calling it marijuana in the first place is like disgusting to me but this is what i read marijuana legalization what the fuck has that got to do with cannabis and i don't care if they legalize it or not i i would prefer they didn't just left it alone and just walked away you know let the people out of jail for their little you know however much they had and they they want to play stupid games well you can have up to 27 grams what like i'm on walk around with a freaking scale well that's not even the point but that's a i know but that's a yeah. big personal stash to take down to the bar, you know, uh, to go have a couple of beers and smoke two joints maybe, right? And they got, the, they're now they're, you, can, you can't have an ounce, well, an ounce isn't a lot of weight either, but it's the, the amount you'd keep at home, <laughs> you know, for your personal, but you wouldn't carry that much around with you. So what I'm getting at is they're keeping the limit down so you can't even put a stash in your house. You know, if you get delivered a, uh, an, an ounce and it's a proper ounce, that's 28 grams. So you, there, there's your extra gram. You're fucked right there. Oh, you just man. just took possession of that magic number of grams that made it illegal again. And this is okay with these fucking voters. These people are nuts. They're willing to give up all their rights and all their fucking... Um, responsibility for their self put it on somebody else so that these idiots can play word games on paper and lock people up for money and jesus how how much do you need before you've had enough well they're wanting that cheap labor in there and and they're wanting to you know fuck with families and and all that other fun stuff so you know it's a it's a multi-pronged weapon that they use because it's dealing in in whoever they are the the language really is very inadequate for something like this because they could be them over there but um to me a lot of this crap is just you know they think of something that they can do whoever (laughs) they are (laughs) <laughs> and then they look at all of the different things that will happen from this, and then they're pleasantly surprised when other bad things happen along with it, and they sit back and they go, I meant to do that. And the whole time we're sitting here going, what? Ow, son, God damn it, stop it. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, whatever. It, but, I'm just to the point where it's like, you know what? Y'all want to play your freaking games? You, d- 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 right. I'm not it, playing. And it's so obvious that the system plays both ends against the center because they, they they make things sound how they're not in reality. But they sell it to these people because the people they're selling it to never never smoked weed in the first place. <laughs> yeah. So they're, they're going to believe whatever is going to keep them away from what's going to cause them trouble. Which is like, what, 90% of the population wants to stay out of trouble and get along. Yeah. And 10%, well, you know what? You want to make it against the law. I feel like doing it. Kiss my ass. Let's let's race. <laughs> and you know what? In that 10% that, that want to just go ahead and do it anyway, the oh. nine or 99.9% of them. Yeah. Yeah. are the ones that make those rules so that they can make everybody else. You know, that's like that whole damn, you know, you're breaking the law or you've yeah. sunk lower. Oh, it's like, really? Yeah. Really? Well, look at how I get judged by somebody I won't name out loud, Hansel. Um, <laughs> because <laughs> I, you know, I'm constantly stoned out of my mind and never speak a word of truth or make any sense to anyone but myself. And, and so, I, well, right, but oh, come on, we all know the truth about it. It's just it it never ends. This guy's like he's relentless. And, and you and, know what? I'm happy for him. That is his sad but, little life. So I'm, that, no, no, you know, no, no, that, no, that no, 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 no. That he's got to judge everyone no, else. That's not, a sad life. That's not how I meant it, though. I'm, I know, but that's how I see it. Is it's I'm, very sad. But I'm looking at the good side of it, Miss Mary. Mm. Without and the good side is 
without that resistance from a major, you know, uh, social advocate, uh, advocate, you know, societal some, advocate. Somebody, yes. Yeah, somebody that plays in that state's best thing for you thing. It's mm-hmm. good for me to have an arch enemy that is so devoutly for it, always pointing out the real truth about everything by bringing what I say to the front. Because, uh-huh. s- yeah. So he's gr- like your Lex Luthor to your Stuperman? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Robin Grimm and, you know. It's, but see, Hansel's got the ability to not give a shit about what you say because he doesn't care. It's, bu- uh, it's a, bu- I have the ability if I want to use it, but Cirque is kind of softened me and I realized to, you know, to use it, you got to bring it back. So I yeah. just, yeah. So nah, I'm trying to tone it down, you know, get, get rid of it for good. Mm. Maybe I'll just replace it with fuck. <laughs> I saw the word on the RLM chat. Fuck with families. Incestuous. Uh, 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 uh. I Rivers. know. I know. He's and I'm looking guy. at this. I'm a lone frog says decriminalize, not legalize. And I would just prefer that they just realize it's a plant. Right. It's a plant. It's okay. part of nature. You're making nature illegal. Go down <laughs> you know to what Rob- nature's going to say to you? Yeah, go Fuck down you. to Rob Works and you'll see the the proper way to explain. I mean, I've joined that that two word answer. Ban prohibition. So the, prohibit prohibition. Well, base, yeah, end it. You know, <laughs> it's <laughs> it, right. It's a re, it's a redundant. There's no way to explain this without looking like a nut job. That's the way they designed it. If you if you show them any resistance. You're gonna get crushed. That's just it's it's in the design of shit. It's it's how it works. Well, that's yeah, that's part of that group mentality shit. Okay, so he the point is is the prohibition that is the problem. Nothing else. That men have that nerve that they're so powerful that they can prohibit you from using something. Yeah, but and, the only way that they're that powerful is that we let them be that way. We actually somebody oh, somewhere actually listen to them because they, they don't were have fucking any power lying. unless. Well, you got to believe in their power in order for their them to actually have power. They used the church. They used the media. They used movies. They used uh, er, every form oh. of communication there ever was invented. Come oh, along with pot's bad for you. Wow. And, well, okay. What I'm pissed off about still right now to this moment, my dear, okay, is, is the dishonesty that these fucking people hold. They they live it, and there's no resistance to it. They just well, just vote Republican. That'll fix everything. Well, you know what right. pisses me yeah. off is that well, I fucking fell for their shit for a lot of years, mm. And there's still an awful lot of shit that I freely admit I have fallen for. And there's still shit that I think, no, no, it must be this way. And then I have to stop and think, wait a minute here. <laughs> yeah, Rob. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, fool me once because that's, you know, that's our nature. We're, yeah. We're trusting human um, life forms of some kind or another. Yes. And most of us. Don't expect to be fucked over. Now, I come from the 10% that expects to be fucked over. So when I'm not fucked over, I don't have nothing to be pissed off about. Because, hey, you didn't fuck me over. What the hell? <laughs> well, and I get that. And see, I come from that that part that grew up very, very, some would say very naive. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I just thought. Wow, you know, people actually do that to other people? Why? That's just so mean. Why would you even think to do something like that? Mm. And then I had something done to me, and it was like, wait a minute here. What the hell? You know, so it's been a lifelong journey of me going, what the hell? (laughs) (laughs) Take it out of the box. (laughs) Hey, you know, while you were Farmer Browning over there in Kansas, you know what I was doing here in Denmark. In, no, what were you, Farmer Greenin? In my windowsill. Yeah. 
Sweet. And, and we did a little bit. We we did some uh, cucumber plants out in the backyard, and Cirque was growing cucumbers like there was more of yeah she had to give them away <laughs> from two plants anyway but inside the house i have a, a menagerie of green growing in the window sills cool i do too i brought my my ginger and my turmeric in they were growing outside but i had them in pots so i brought okay. them in so that they would live a little bit longer so i would be able to harvest some decent sized roots but yeah and that was I got, what I was going to. Here we are in October here where it's supposed to be cold and shit, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I've got a, 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 an avocado seed sprouting in the windowsill. Sweet! Yeah, but it's supposed to be so cold right now that this wouldn't, it wouldn't work. But it, they've been messing with the skies here for years. Yeah. Well, I know it. They spray us like bugs, too. Yeah. But not, not the poison shit that makes you sick because there's population's too small but they're doing shit to change the sun the effects that we get from the sun have changed since i moved here oh yeah well yeah there's been a lot of people talking about how the sun has hell i was just talking to someone the other day and he said he said that the seasons are changing and the sun something ain't right and mm. and this is someone that i was i was totally floored because i've known this guy since he was a kid yeah. And it just really floored me that he was he was noticing stuff like so yeah it it's amazing how yeah, many people are noticing things but they don't say anything because they're afraid that someone will look at them as crazy and you, <laughs> apparently they say stuff to me because they know I'm freaking crazy and I'll go yeah you know you're right <laughs> well oh, crazy is. Mm. In an I'd, insane world. Yeah, I'd rather be called whatever they call me than be a, a bean counter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll pass on that. But I triggered, you triggered my PTSD. Thanks. Okay. Woo -woo. Oh. I don't know how, but you're welcome. <laughs> we aim to please at the dork table, sir or madam. Uh, oh, wait. Flashback. I saw flash took it all to my mind and went hey oh. he's talking to me <laughs> i should know better oh. by now <laughs> yeah but i think grimmy was putting holy water on somebody ah uh, yeah but i saw my name and went all all egomaniac like Vinny. Mm. you know what v Vinny did to me just like you did he's, he starts the program with me but he didn't do it as long as you did and then he goes well i'm done <laughs> i'm taking <laughs> off have fun what? Well, that's because you have wow. so much muchness that your muchy muchness is just too muchy for m lots of you. Way too muchy for most people. <laughs> yeah, I, I've I've figured that part out a few years back. <laughs> you know, that's why I quit swimming in the shallow end of the gene pool looking for girls, Goober, because oh. the ones you're gonna get, they ain't worth keeping. <laughs> no, throw it back. Throw no. Oh, it's got blonde hair. Throw it back. Oh, I'm going to have all Ouch. kinds of blondes get pissed at me now. Go to the deep water and take your chances. That's the way life really works. You know that the bigger the chance you take, the bigger the payoff. <laughs> Sometimes that payoff is not necessarily what you were looking for, though. I just say it. I have no, because I have a, a an ability in my mind to. Um, not suffer through the bad times, but just exist through the shitty times and get to the good times and not be a bitter bitch about the shitty time because they happen. If you're, you know, if you're on some kind of a clock where you can judge life like that, I don't live that way. <laughs> I do things a little differently. Yeah. So, yeah. So if I'm happy, that's my barometer. I'm trying to be in happiness, whatever that is, whatever that entails. And I realized in uh, my 20s that when I did shit that wasn't good and, and you know, pushed the pail, that uh, I didn't really feel so good about the results. Yeah. You know, like if if I had to lie, <laughs> openly just lie to somebody to to get them to agree to a deal on the uh, in a business thing. I didn't feel so good about it. Wow. Because I didn't start out lying. I learned how to do that to make more money selling more expensive shit. <laughs> Started out telling the truth like, you know, everybody does. And then you get greedy and you find out, uh-oh, <laughs> whoops, what in the fuck did I step into this time? Yeah. 
And yes, I'm a lone frog. The moon did disappear the other night. Um, and Grimmy, Grimmy says in the chat that the sun's been messed up for a few decades now, which, yeah, I have, I have noticed, you know, not, not quite, not really talking about it so much as I, as I have in the last like 10 years or so. But yeah, I've noticed that the things are not quite right with the sun and the seasons. The seasons have been messed for a while. Hmm. But, you know, Mother Earth, Mother Earth, <laughs> Mother Earth is going through a change. Hey, she's is going to she? have a hot flash. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, you Please. just be careful because when she goes through that change and she starts yeah. having hot flashes and next thing yeah. you know, she starts shaking shit up and getting all ranty and ravey. Oh, uh, wait, that's hurricanes and earthquakes. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think we pissed off Mother Earth. Really? Is that what you think? Actually, I do. And part of it is, you know, we, and I know, I know uh, uh, whoever those leeches that be are, yeah. um, have technology to do this. hurricanes worse than what yeah. normally would occur, um, earthquakes, all this other fun shit. I know. I That's one of those things I feel deep down in the gut, that they've been doing this for years, and they've been playing with it and dinking with it. Well, now, now they're not realizing the repercussions of their playing and dinking with things, and uh, Mother Earth is going, ah, oh, Aha! Uh -huh. So you want to make an earthquake, eh? Yeah. Well, this is going to show you just how to make an earthquake. Yeah. Okay. Well, all that's nice and wonderful, but that that's still limited to some places. Not every it place is, is going to get. Yeah. Not. It's like this little pocket where we live. You know. Here, I'll tell you a story. This will okay. this will shock you because me and Cirque bought this little house on this little road that is a uh, like an artery into the into the uh, retail outlets of the city and the train and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So we're uh, we're on the countryish side of that road. Okay, mm -hmm. so the all right. So yesterday, she and the trains are stopped for three days in Freddy Town for some work, and she had to go to the office Friday for a change. This week she didn't have to go in, but Friday she did. That's the day they decide to stop the train in, at the station she usually goes to, so she's got to switch to a bus. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that also means that I'm used to doing, you know how anal I can be with a program. <laughs> so uh -huh. I've been picking her up at the same place when I do. Every, you know, it's, I can walk there with my eyes closed. I know the way to go there is so perfect and everything. Well, little Miss Exc Excitement decides to change her plans, and I had to go the other way. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm a hobbit in the Shire. It's just disgraceful, Mary. My, my, <laughs> my, my peer hound dogs out in the day would laugh at me. If they saw me now, they'd laugh. What, you had to go the other side of town, and you didn't like it? What, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and it's, yeah, and it, it's a really nice walk you see the beach and really nice homes it's it's a nice little piece of uh, scenery but i prefer my other walk that's that's what i mean about comfort you know how we all enjoy our comforts at different levels and although the the other walk was more interesting to look at and it was prettier and all that other horse shit I like my horrible walk where I know everybody and I can, you know, I can navigate without thinking. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, it is nice to be able to navigate without thinking. Right. Without having to try to read a Danish sign that you're not familiar with and figure out what the hell it means. So anyway, yeah. oh, I forgot to tell you this part is I had to go to a new store to get uh, necessary provisions for the evening extravaganza. Mm -hmm. Well, everything in this country is in fucking Danish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and if you okay, if you're as isolated the way I, I recognize things, it's very narrow because I got bad eyesight and all this other shit. But if you move, some, if I'm sitting here on my desk and I move my cigarettes three feet to the left and f forget it, and then I look for them. 
I never look beyond what I can see like within two feet of me. <laughs> so that third foot is the, that's the, that's it. It's all I needed to not see it. Yeah. Okay. Just like I was teasing you about the radio. This is my thing is, so I go into this store and I've got to read the stuff I'm used to reading at the other store in this new store. <laughs> <laughs> slowed me down quite a bit wow you know because you could get sourdough bread without realizing it if you don't know how they write sourdough bread in danish Ooh. i'm giving you an example you know i it, know but that yeah. would be yeah right or you could get the wrong grade of milk that you you normally get you wouldn't get the well, Dan Danish labeling is a little bit more straightforward than what I, I saw in other countries. So it's easier with that. But still, there's that, hey, if you see a new brand of something and it looks like what you used to. I thought, um, I didn't know uh, the difference between soup and diced tomatoes when I first got here. It was almost embarrassing. It's like learning a new language. Oh, yeah. Because labels. Is all I could, you know, my first couple of days here was like, holy shit, what did I do? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> it might sound, okay, it's, well, because I came from English, English, English to, wow, <laughs> what the hell is, <laughs> what have I stepped into this time? And uh, they couldn't beam me out or nothing. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. but. But the weird, the weird part about being so comfortable in this life that I got to, and then just going the other way down the street, and everything was chaotic and and different. Ah, well, yeah, yeah. Never been that much of a, a comfort level looking guy, you know. I always liked going to. Hey, I wonder where that's going to go to. And now I look down the street and go, ah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> does <laughs> what <laughs> who i i'm blaming the dane it's all her fault she she did this to me <laughs> oh my goodness uh, hey moose boost just checked in talking to dork cakes i see that uh, i didn't see that i i usually don't mess with the computer when i do radio well, and I mess all over the place, and you know that. <laughs> I was doing it. I was doing a show with Vinny, and I I hung up on him live. Mess. Good with job. Buttons. You betcha, baby. See how you it, are. It's hard to do the dork table without you, so I was just kind of trying to be you and me at the you know different intervals. <laughs> Throw a Mary I knew thing I felt in. a disturbance in the force. That's <laughs> the what force. it was. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, and Vinny's a little bit more sensitive about verbiage than you are. He's got a uh, he's got an understanding similar to you, where he's taken the words and really looked into what they mean and, and it, what happens when you say certain things in a certain order. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Well, when you give that shit a reality and you believe it, it's true. Doesn't matter what everybody else fucking thinks. You believe it. Therefore, there it is. Just like the God thing or the science thing or the when we went to the moon thing or 9-11. However you see that, you can't tell anybody else and get them to go, oh, yeah, I see it exactly that way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Either they do or they don't. And it's sad because there's not two sides to that particular kind of coin. There's only one side. But through press, media, TV, politics, religion, education, all these good fucking systems that we engage, they've screwed our thinking up so bad we don't even know what we're looking at anymore. See, that's when you close your eyes, plug your ears and go la 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 and probably walk into a wall or something like that. But hey, it's something that'll get you to go yoinks. Yeah, but the other sheep will correct me because I'm wrong. Like the vaccinations or the uh, flu shot crap. How can you, you, you were saying last night, how can you be so ignorant? If you're in good physical shape, how are you going to get sick? You're in good physical shape. Illness is what happens to you when you're ill. Uh-huh. That's what symptoms are. They're showing you you're ill. Do something about this. But we've been conditioned to believe that pills do shit for you that they don't do. Simple as that. 
They've, and that took lots of years to get. And they, mm. it's just here, basically in the Western world, what mm. what is classified as the Western world, where that's predominantly true. Right. Well, they control what we buy through regulation and law. Mm-hmm. And they, what what's good for us, they make it against the law to have it. There you go. There's the results of your society, of all your voting, you know, and all your picking all these freaking leaders. Man, these people deserve to be all be destroyed. Be if you want my opinion. Do unto others is is uh I don't know, Cirque doesn't say that, but I do. So yeah. You want to poison my water, I don't care if you poison it, but you're gonna drink some of it. <laughs> you know, I'd take it to that level at one time in life. Now I'm just old and whining. Well, and I'm I'm to the point where it's do unto others what you want coming back at you. If you want that coming back at you, you just go right ahead there, bucko. But if you don't want that coming back at you, because trust me, it's going to come back at you, and it's going to come back at you multiplied. So, yeah. Right. If you believe, right, that's the point. That's what all this arguing that we do amongst ourselves is all about, is that if you don't see the thing I'm telling you the way I'm telling you to see it, you're a dumbass. No, I just have different eyes. Okay. <laughs> Case closed. You just proved my point there, little missy. You that, did. Yeah, right. And they've got us pitted against each other in gender. And what they haven't got covered in gender, they cover in some other area. So that yeah. we're always disagreeing and fighting about the most mundane, born ignorant shit so that we won't. Hey, why don't we have a decent form of electricity? What's that about? Well, because somebody can't pocket and control how much you can use without, you know, if you have a decent form. Well, Larry Woods that you were reading about yesterday on Uh your show, Mm -hmm. he's the one that informed me about the 54 cycle generator and i've yet to come up with anybody that understands the generator and how they work to tell me that larry woods is wrong with his theory so it's not hidden knowledge it's not buried knowledge it's that whatever the law the people that run shit decide for us is what we get we don't have a say in any of this that's the problem Yeah, and what's really sad is, you know, we can research and research and research until the cows come home and start mooing and then wander off again. But, you know, what you're doing is you're you're looking shit up in stuff that you're allowed to have access to. Yeah. Uh, So how did we ever find out what we found out? Because they wanted us to, which proves the 10% which proves the less than 5% of the 10%. Well, we'd need 50% of the 10%. You need a full 5% of the population in motion to get something to the get the other 95 to follow. Yeah, the tipping point. Yeah. Is 5%, right? Well, mm-hmm. Cirque made that clear and I I've given that some consideration for a few years now and I've come to the decision That I'm going to go along with the math people and go with the 5%. So that tells me that we need half of the people that are already in the mental state we're in to accept it, to accept it. And it's obvious half of them, although they know there's a problem, their problem is the other side. It's not that the game is fucked up. It's that it's the other side of the political power that's, they're the ones who ruin it for us. When it no, it's all of you together are ruining it for each other. Yeah, because people are people have been trained slash programmed into believing keep that focus narrow, and when you shift your focus, it has to foc- it has to stay narrow. You can't broaden your perspective in any way, shape, or form because once you do that, then you start seeing the bigger picture. And we can't have that. We want you seeing those little bit. You focus on that little bitty pixel there. 
Don't you look at at an area that's got like a thousand pixels in it. By God, you might start seeing what the hell we're doing. So well, look, Democrat. Oh my God, it's a Democrat. Okay, and the, but it strikes me as odd because Republican or Democrat, I heard the same bullshit about nine eleven out of both Bush and Obama. Oh yeah. There you go. That's because I was, they're following uh, that party line. It's a great yeah, but, big party, and we aren't invited except for, to clean up. Uh, I was living there when these things took place. So I had yeah. experience from both Bush and Obama, and it was the same rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing changed. Nothing got better. In fact, Syria, good Lord, I seen a video a few years ago that was at the time three years old of a girl, a girl, a young woman, maybe in her 40s, 30s, 40s, um, pleading with the government not to invade Syria. We're against an invasion of Syria. The, these gas attacks are staged, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. See, see, that tells me, well, the public never wants war. Who wants war? People that got money invested in arms want war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those people, they want lots of wars. Sell yeah, many, so many they have bombs. job security. But they have these stupid stories that sell this war. Uh, Assad's gassing his own people. What What the fuck? Can, they did that with um, Saddam Hussein, too. I mean, for fuck's sake, these people weren't idiots. They were, you know, <laughs> they weren't dancing to the song the Americans wanted them to sing. But they Same with Qaddafi. Yeah, and the American public is so lame, they don't look at the reality of what living in the, what those guys' countries was like. They look at the crap they see on CNN. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I got to tell you, when I went, I went to the dentist the other day and got another hole filled in my head. Which thankfully, hopefully, I won't have any more. <laughs> I'm, I'm, whatever. In any case, he, had, the dentist had asked me, and it's so funny. They try and carry on a conversation with you while their hands are in your mouth. It's like really, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. but thank um, you for sharing that. Yeah, he right, he'd right, asked right. me if I did much talking about um, history with my uncle Tom, and I said. Well, it just kind of depends. I mean, we talk about whatever we talk about, and it could be anything and shit. And um, he said, have you ever talked to him about World War II? And I said, you mean like the Holocaust and how it didn't happen? And his eyes got massive, massive. And by the time the appointment was over and my face was numb and all that other fun shit, and I just looked at him and I said, think about this. We wanted a foothold in the Middle East. Why did we want a foothold in the Middle East? Because there's oil in them, thar hills. And how do you get a foothold in the Middle East? You have to have a friendly nation state. How do you get a friendly nation state? You've got to create something in order to guilt everybody into creating that friendly nation state. That's why... Did, oh, all those poor Jews in World War II. I'm not saying that. And I talked to Uncle Tom about it <laughs> yesterday yeah. when we were putting his elliptical together. And he said, actually, Hitler wanted to get rid of the gypsies because he was he thought he was part gypsy and he didn't want none of that shit. So he wanted to get rid. He killed more gypsies than he did anything. But he and I got into a long old discussion about it. And, and I told the dentist. That, you know, the only reason we got Israel over there is because they started planning that shit way before World War II. (laughs) Yeah. They wanted a friendly nation over there so that they could step in and say, you're picking on our little buddy. And weren't they picked on long enough in World War II? Holocaust. I mean, if if something really, really happened, why do you have to make laws that say... You'll go to jail if you deny that? Because there's two sides to that of their story. And I, I can explain it to you if you want to hear what I think it is. Okay, you explain it to me. The Holocaust happened, but not the way they tell you it happened. Oh, I know the ho- that. The Holocaust was code word for slave labor camps. Yes. Okay. Now... It's a whole lot easier to 
uh, distract people from ever pursuing that avenue by making a big hoopla about this uh, holocaust that happened, but not the way they're telling you it happened. See, it wasn't a Jew thing. It was a anybody that they wanted to be in control of thing because they did have lots of slave labor camps in Poland. They oh, yes. Did, they did rename the city Auschwitz so that it wouldn't sound so Polish and it would sound more German. These yeah. things. Okay. The, uh, the railroads that led to the <coughs> Holocaust camps. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. were American money railroads. Yes. That was American dollar bills paying for the railroad. And fuck. Well, there you go. So the Holocaust, it's not about whether it happened or not. It's about keeping people distracted from they put slave labor and making the wealthy more fucking money off the people more important than murder. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so oh, they yeah. rather they want to hide the slave labor trail and you just go with this Holocaust thing and hey we'll make laws that says you can't even argue about it that'll keep them busy. Mm-hmm. Whatever we're not allowed to have by God and country, those are the things that a child is going to grab for. Oh, so yeah. the thing about this, the clue to the whole thing is to grow up. And stop clutching onto that fucking cookie. You've crushed it so hard, it's just a mush. You know how yeah. little kids are? They don't want you to have it, so they destroy it, pulling it away from you. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. What We just do it with words and ideas and deceptions and lies to distract you from what? Hemp is, they make what out of hemp? Are you kidding me? Anything? <laughs> Who knew? But to live in this time of life with all this shit around us and all this knowledge we have and not see the benefits of a hemp society is beyond my understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Lame Frog said six million reported dead many, many times, and this time it finally stuck. And, you know, that was one of those things I was talking with my uncle about. And I'd also told the dentist I said, stop and think about this. They said six million Jews were killed in concentration camps. And if you look back at the census records, what they what they had or what has been reported, what we're allowed to see, uh-huh. there were only six million Jews, period. <laughs> there probably they, wasn't that many. Yeah. How'd, they, how'd they kill them all? Yeah. And well, yet we claim- still have so many. Yeah, what the they're hell? claiming 15 million on, on population in the world. Okay. And yeah. About 8 million of them live in Israel, and a good part of what's left are, uh, you know, the UK, America, Canada, Australia, and then a few scattered here across the, the globe. Yeah. Probably the most of us that don't really want to play. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I could take that Jew thing seriously and go find a synagogue and all that crap, and they're my people. What do you do? And just like any other gang, when you're in a gang, you're in a gang. The gang members, whether they like you or not, it's not even a, that's not an issue. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm just making a point, you know. And, jeez. So, but to take it to this level of control and through the lies and the stories that they told us to do it with and to come out where we are is complete insanity. Did Grimmy? Did I say lame frog? <laughs> <laughs> did you? Uh, wow! Yeah, my brain works in mysterious ways, <laughs> and what comes out my mouth a lot of times is not near what runs across my brain. But it's okay. I have fun with it. I go with you're, it. Sorry, lone frog. <laughs> you, you're definitely dark material. Don't worry about it. Your your seat was waiting for you. <laughs> Yeah, nobody can feel it either. Nobody, nobody's been able to do. That. Oh, you guess who? I mentioned it earlier, but Rob Works is gonna help me out on Tuesday night. I'm gonna try to get him to commit for a little bit more time because Vinny hung me out like he did. But mm, I just thought two, you know, two um, programs a week alone was too much. So luckily, and this is what I mean about my—I've got such good luck when you think about it. At the times where there wasn't anybody and I had to go through it and do it the best I could, I did it. So yep. 
you know, I got through whatever the fuck my little mental problem about it was. And now I've proven I can do it. Now I'm just worried about too much alone is too much. I yeah. feel way more comfortable with a partner. Yeah, it is you know? a lot of fun with a partner, but yeah. Because when you're master been on the radio all by <laughs> yourself, everybody knows it. You oh, yeah. can't hide your master from the listening audience out there. They know what's going on because they're know. doing it too. <laughs> I know. Two nights a week, I hang my ass out to dry. <laughs> yeah. Well, how I mean it, though, you re- you read different st- You're very unpredictable. Okay. And, and I've grown to believe of myself doing this radio crap that I'm pretty much predictable. <laughs> yeah. You know, what? Cool. Yeah, except for like hanging up on Vinny and <laughs> going through more partners than Hillary Trump <laughs> as a, in, a, in her in her legal in her legal life. Oh, I got such a good time reading Hillary Hil- Hillary Clinton's book. Bill, is that ball hair on my soap? <laughs> it was. It was an epic book. It was about the struggles of a young woman in a male world dominated by dicks and she wasn't going to have any of those nasty things in her by god and country but that's a whole nother book (laughs) never mind that was a that was a wiener joke about mrs clinton yeah well you know yeah he didn't laugh oh okay Uh, hey pancakes well i don't i've told you that i've said this on the show it it's when I do a solo, it's like sitting talking to myself. It's yeah. very different than having another person to interrupt. I can't interrupt myself. <laughs> sure, you can. I do that it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you're so rude? Ha. I'll show you rude. Well, anyway, oh shit! I just woke Circa up laughing. She was trying. She was. <laughs> Why am I fighting with Mary? <laughs> I I I'd be nice to Mary. See, she poor Cirque. She's so innocent sometimes. Oh, she just lets you think that. Hey, it's it's my illusion. Don't don't tell me what to see. <laughs> there's there's Lou in that word for a reason. <laughs> I know. All the really ill yeah, Lou. That's right. The illusion. Because, see, ha- half of the good words you couldn't say without my name anyway. I just don't like to flaunt that. <laughs> <laughs> like you just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. It's a name, you know. It's like, what the fuck? I don't, I don't take this people being remembered and knowing me and all that crap too seriously. Yeah, well, you know, they call it a merry-go-round for a reason, because a lot of times I'm just like somebody nailed one foot to the floor, and I'm just going round in circles. Yeah, we just got we just got Art Underground just snuck into the RLM chat. Hey, Art Underground, how you doing? I don't know if he's hearing us, but he said, yeah. I'm a little late, but I'm here now. There you go. He's hurt the- now. Well, I was trying to un un. He needs to put a Z wow. on the end of that. Wow. I know. You, see, you can unsee the typos. I see the typos, and my brain goes. Ay. Yeah. Wow. And what Wednesday? You were just very uh, angry on your Wednesday show to me. That's the way I heard you, because I I hear you, and I I hear you the way I hear you. So you got to remember that part too. When I judging your shit, I'm telling you how I heard it. So it could have been me. I went, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Get and it? I'm, I'm trying to think of what I did on Wednesday. <laughs> you did what you always do. And, but just from show to show, your, uh, your moods are different. Because I know, I assume a lot of stuff because I've known you so long. Yeah. Through, you know, through the electronic world. So I've grown to, uh, I guess the right word be judge your behavior over the uh, the way that I hear you. 
Ah. So yeah. is it my mood dictating your mood or am I see it's all up it's all up in the sky and you can make whatever you want out of it. And that's the hardest thing there is in my life to do is remember for me that whatever I'm seeing that's what I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not anybody else telling me what to see. So Hi Art. <laughs> He's saying Gwammies. Yeah. I, I I can read and just because you, you yell his name a little louder doesn't <laughs> help him hear you any better. <laughs> but wow, you're rattling my eardrum. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jeez, no clutch, <laughs> no speedometer. <laughs> You're man, I'll bet your gas tank's full though. <laughs> You're just an accident looking for a place to happen. <laughs> I don't even need a place to happen. I just happen. <laughs> wow. Hey, I Cirque's gotten a sense of l- less clumsy behavior around me since we've been together. Wow. Yeah. When I met her, when we were first together, she was a little more clumsy than she is today. And I would like to take credit for that. (laughs) 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 Because it was my influence in her life that made this great change possible. And so are you more clumsy? Because, you know, life has to balance shit out. In the right tone of voice, right? With the right words, I could sell that to anybody. Make them believe it. Just say it enough over a long enough period of time, and they're going to go, wow, there's that girl he changed. Cool. <laughs> she wouldn't even have an identity. It'd be, hey, there's that woman flash changed. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. If hey, it comforts you to think that way. <laughs> it's my illusion. I'll paint it any color I like. Thank you. <laughs> you just go right ahead, hon. Yeah. Hmm, I'll just sit over here and knit. <laughs> that, no, she was harsher than that. You want to hear what she said? What'd she say? She said, I can, I can hardly breathe over here because you're taking up all the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, dark side, huh? You think I don't know? Whoa. She married me. Come on, that, that tells you 80% right there. Go. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It took her a while to to figure out when I'm playing and when I'm not, though. And sometimes I still fool her. I got her today really good. <laughs> then she was mad because I did it and I laughed. It was, so I was like, ooh, ouch. She wish I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, well. Vinny and his 420 somewhere. Here, I, I got I got me a, something here. I'll spark it up and we'll commemorate this wonderful time in unison. Puffin. Yeah, Vinny, Vinny likes to lurk loudly. He's the loudest lurker in the history of lurking. Fuck, why'd he just knock on the door? I'm here to burglar your house. Are you home? <laughs> oh, Vinny says he broke Cirque's fingers, and that learned her some. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That that was the dog. I did, would never Which, do how's she thing. doing? How's her fingers oh. doing? She's way, uh, they look better. I'll tell you, she had them broken in such a horrible fashion. That, uh, oh, really I saw that. Like, yeah. yeah, they were they were bent in a direction that wasn't natural in three countries. Ooh, wow. Yeah, well, you know, you live, but it was the dog that did that, not me. I would never. Yeah, I know. Hannah Banana if, did that. Yeah, because if I was going to attack somebody to that level where I broke fingers, I don't, it wouldn't end at broken fingers. So, nah. You can say it was me, but nah, it wasn't me. It was the dog. Hannah's just a wimp. She only breaks fingers. Oh. Yeah, man. That's why I don't fight anyone anymore. You know, you can have an accident and break somebody's neck. Didn't even mean to. Just pushing people away has caused me a lot of trouble in my life. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, trying to get them away and they hit something else and fuck the next thing you know so eh, fighting didn't work out for me too much i strayed from it about 1980 i don't know five or six was uh, wow last, way back the in the time, last century yeah the last time anybody put their hands on me it was like 25 or 26 and that's it 
my boring life now, man. Now I'm just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Last time they put their hands on you in anger. I'm sure Circles puts her hands on you from time to time. Well, we try not to discuss the privy of our boudoir on the dork table. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, kind of. <laughs> How's that for a dark answer? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Anyway. There you go. Yes, and that's true, Moosey. Marriage is called an institution for a reason. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, see, but that's what I mean is, you know, marriage is a state of mind. It's not, you guys take it to the law shit because of the the countries it entails and all that horse shit. But, you know, that's just for the, that's just the exhibition. That's bullshit to me, all that. It's American, Danish, man, I saw a picture of her and I went, hey, I'm going to get me one of those. <laughs> <laughs> But at the time that, I, well, I'm using hindsight, and it's 2020, you know, and I'm looking back, but I never thought at the moment that I said that, that yeah. there was only one of those, because there's others, but not like this one. Yeah. So there you go. But yep. it's that magnet shit where you just go, wow, I don't care if I got to move to Denmark, I'm going to do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, didn't matter. It would. I just told her. Well, she, when, when I met her, I don't know how seriously she took this, but we met online, and as we all know in life, everybody online is beautiful and wealthy and amazing and everything they told you they were. Right. Uh huh. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, so I got to Denmark expecting. You know, I was getting pranked by some black guy named Steve and his white girlfriend. <laughs> Well, you know, just so that leaving myself a back door so that I wouldn't be like all disillusioned and hate women like other guys end up doing, you know, yeah. blaming the blaming your your uh, whoever else for the decision you made. It's still your decision. You made it. Yep. Oh, we have another fan. Art Underground says marriage sucks arse. And Beetle and, joined. Hey, Beetle. And I would I say that it's your interpretation you know how willing are you to let the state dictate your reality to you you know like we we never fight about what typical couples would fight about the first thing that first and foremost is always money mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's always money it's always been money there's not enough of it or what you're doing with it doesn't please the empress and you know, why are you buying yourself this and not buying me that? And we don't live like that. We got a completely different outlook on the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, but it, I don't have it with anybody else I know. My, my brother came to stay with me here, and I was very rigid and, you know, structured with him where, hey, me and Circle eat off the same plate. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter to me, <laughs> but I ain't doing it with my brother and I've known my brother forever. Yeah. Well, but yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't feel that kind of close with anybody else but her. So why not be married? There you go. Right. But that's my thing. I, I don't recommend anybody else does it. I'm just updating you on uh, my success in this crazy fucking life that I've chosen to live that goes against everything people tell you is possible. Um, I'm like, I'm like living the dark horse. You know, I am the dark horse. <laughs> yeah. It, no matter <laughs> what life throws in my path, no matter how bad or good it is, I survive it. And I don't think I hold a grudge against the people, the real, not the internet people crap, but the real people in my life that made a, a dent here and there, I don't think I hold them accountable for their end of it. You know, I'm not a grudge holder like, well, you did this to me in 1974 and I'll hate you forever. And, nah, I don't even care. You know, it doesn't, doesn't grip me like that now. You know, and I'm in that frame of mind now where when someone did something like something not so cool to me back in whenever, whenever, then it's... Damn, thank you, because, wow, I learned a lesson from that one. It one may not have been a pleasant lesson, yeah. but I like where I'm at right now, so thank you very much for being a douche then. 
So well, what I found the hardest part for me to do was to be responsible for being where I was when shit went wrong. Because even if it did, I expected it. Some part of me already knew. So it wasn't a surprise. It was like, oh, shit, I got nailed. <laughs> yeah. Being a dishonest fuck, I got caught. So I thought, wow, well, maybe if I stopped doing shit that was, you know, dishonest in the first place, maybe my results would improve. And that was something somebody else suggested to me in a bar. <laughs> you know, one of the guys I used to talk to in my late 20s, uh, mid 20s. And I started to take them more seriously and try to apply what they were saying. I figured, why would you tell me if I couldn't use it? And here I am all these years later proving that they were they were right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Christ. Um, I, I'm so squeaky clean on paper. I have a, a passport, you know. I live in another country. So, but it's so... Uh, Contrary to the stories that were told about me to my children when I wasn't there to to prove or disprove anything. Or my parents, you know, from third parties that were telling them what was going on with me. And it was never really what was going on. It was their version of what they thought I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, taught me a lesson how to see... I'm the one responsible for how I feel about what you say. So I don't really give a shit what you say unless I want to. Well, and that, yeah, well, that's pretty much a lot of people don't realize it. That's how they live. And, and then when it gets put in their face, they're like, no, really? That, that's yeah, but, a mature response. Thank you very much. You just proved my point. Um, well, for what, four or five months, you haven't had a free Saturday to do anything but more work to catch up from the week for months, right? Yeah. Okay. So, but here you are with your first free Saturday and, and you chose to jump on the dork table and play here. Yeah. So that, that tells me every, well, any questions I might have had, because I, I went, hey, man, she's not saying, hey, she's not this. I didn't really understand just how busy, cause I was, I've got time to kill yeah you know i'm the fucker i'm gonna kill time time ain't gonna get me <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna f i'm gonna donald trump all you people and live to be like 112 oh and, okay yeah and i figured out the key simple don't expect it and it'll happen <laughs> yeah. whatever you whatever you expect no, that never works out. So, my experience tells me what I don't expect to happen will happen. And I never go to bed thinking, oh, I'll see you in the morning. I think, good night. And then in the morning I wake up and go, holy shit, I'm still here. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I don't yeah. know if I'm being punked by I am Lone Frog, but he says, Flash is an open book. See, I see that I see that name flash, and I think it's about me every time. <laughs> well, see, there you go. That's okay. Well, I think everybody else is an open book too. And beetle, I like cranberry juice. I I uh, drink an awful lot of cranberry juice actually, and I like now, raisins. And but now she don't put the vodka in it no more. No, I don't do it no less either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Sure, well, you. Well, yeah, yeah, I I do it a lot less. Yeah, Vodka is pretty much relegated to my cleaners. I still remember your last job left you enough time that you could go bowling and screw around, go and visit the kids on the weekends and all kinds of crazy shit. But the farming thing, that got you almost seven days a week for four months, five months. Yeah, well, I was working for myself. Mm -hmm. mm. That is not freedom, is it? Yes, it is, actually. Is it really? Yes, it okay. is. Working, then it's not working. You were you were being responsible for you. I see the word, Mary. Okay, not, yes, yes. Yeah, I was being responsible see. for myself. I was doing what I enjoyed doing. I was out playing in the yard. Overachieving as well. Well, I, I was having a good time. And yeah, right, when right, I wasn't but, working yeah, or when yeah. I wasn't playing in the yard, I was going to see mom or kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, and... 
the egomaniac that I am, the amount of time that we've spent doing radio programs together, I started to wonder, maybe you're just ditching me on Saturday because you, you just kept your own show up. Without really giving thought to, oh, I forgot what it was like to live where you have to do sh- certain shit every day. Or, wow, there ain't nobody else to do it. Yeah. See? Yeah, because that's what, you know, your part in that thing is for you to do what you're doing. And for me, my part's, th- it's the same, but from a different uh, perspective. My responsibilities aren't as easy to explain to people as they se- they seem to be. Yeah. Yeah. I For get example, that. yeah, Cirque would never live physically in the part of the country that she's living in right now if it hadn't been for me coming into her life and all this crap evolving into what it became. But it wasn't a plan. It was just, hey, want to do this? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it was like two go. 15-year-olds with a, uh, with a house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in, in a lot of ways, yeah. And uh, the, the the person on the other p- end of the partnership isn't always harping on me to grow up. It's what I needed. And I'm a lot older than her. <laughs> yeah, and it's what she needed. Right, but I never, never think of telling her, hey, why don't you grow up? I look at, I grown up, I don't see anybody. You know, it's... Numbers skew us in society so badly. I had to really isolate and get away from the fucking world and spend the last six, seven years really giving it some serious consideration about what this is all about and how it affects me. And it it doesn't unless I let it. Yeah. And every fucking thing that I learned was good for me as a, you know, growing up through life turned out to be a bold-faced lie, all of it. And what I got now is exactly the opposite of what I was told to look for. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And I still, my peers on the RLM, marriage is a losing game, don't do it, blah, blah. And I understand because I did it twice before and it didn't work out either time. But here I am. And we're coming up on five years now. Isn't that awesome? I remember just meeting her when I was over on uh, our, on uh, World Truth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's, ah, it's been a while. Now we got a dog. The dog's shaking my hand. I mean, we got this little life that um, it's fun. You know, it's between the two of us, how we do things. Yeah. And it doesn't, it, yeah, we don't involve the families and we don't involve the society in it. It's just ours. Now, that's, to me, is why you'd want to marry someone, you know? Because I have some really bizarre interests. Like, I like doing jigsaw puzzles. And most people are annoyed that I can take eight hours in a day and just fuck with my puzzle for hours and hours and hours. Just be completely oblivious to what's going on around me. Waiting for the sun to shine through the window at the right angle so I could get the light to see what color this piece needs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah, love do- doing jigsaw puzzles. Okay, but dorky things like that are not tolerated by uh, just anybody. Takes a special kind of person to tolerate the level of dorkness that I've carried it at to this age. See, and that's that's where I really think Dr. Seuss nailed it. Because people don't really fall in love. They fall into weirdness. You know, you've got your weirdness. She's got her weirdness. And you found each other and your weirdnesses are just so compatible that they just kind of merged with each other. But on the social explanation side of it, you hear state repeated words, marriage and all this other crap. But it's identifying stuff to me. It's not. I'm not in that box. I I put myself here. This is where I wanted to go. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, other people chitter-chatter on the Internet. and and In my interpretation of what they're writing is they don't have that freedom to do that. And I can't imagine um, not having that freedom. I don't want that freedom to do that. It's a choice I made. Traded in my freedom for a relationship that was good for me. Instead of something, you know, that was dangerous and crazy and I could get end up in 
trouble. Because <laughs> there's plenty of that out there if I look. Oh, yeah. Grab a bottle of whiskey and see what happens. Yay. But, right. So instead of that, I smoke a little bit of hash and play on the radio. And, you know, I have a, a very peaceful, boring old guy life that suits me. <laughs> there you go. And that's okay. If it suits right. you, then that's the only one it really needs to suit. Yeah, and see, Graham, that was how immediate this thing with me and Cirque was, is we met and then that was that. I I don't think we've gone two days. Well, yeah, she went to Munich for a business thing. I think that was it, two days apart in five years. Total. Yeah. Not, not total, but at a time total. I think your so, guys' courtship was, what, just a couple months? If you wish yeah, to call it, it a was, court. Yeah, it was very short. Nah, nah. But see, that's what I mean. Who, but it doesn't who? have to be a long courtship. Once once that connection is made, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, we're connected, right. period. If you, don't, if you don't do this kind of thing and have it succeed for yourself, then when somebody else talks about it, you're going to hear it with your own sense of, nah, that's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because just like there's as much information on the Internet showing you how bad the Federal Reserve Bank system is for us, there is an equal amount that says just the opposite. That what would we do without it? It could be regulated into this and done to that. Nah, this game is what's got us. And that's that's part of that whole system thing. You know, that's why I'd, it's all of these are just little bits and pieces of a system and the system that has worked on us collectively for centuries. You know, and it and it's been a very slow process. But, you know, when you look at or when I look back at it and I see all of this fun stuff that I can see progression from one thing to the next to the next to the next and I go Damn. Now, I don't know that it was necessarily planned out this way. <laughs> but, you know, somebody somebody started this ball rolling. And then another person built on it. Another person built on it. Another person built on it. Next thing you know, it's like you said. You repeat it long, often enough. It becomes the truth. That's why a yeah. lot of sciences that I see anymore, it's like, okay. Somebody started with this idea, whether it was right or not. They started with an idea. And then someone else took that idea and they ran with it and they built on it. And then someone else took it and they ran with it and they built it. And next thing you know, you've got all of these proofs for something that may have been based on a fallacy. But like you've got all these bad proofs for, for them. Pardon me? What? Like pot is bad for you, for well, example. Yeah. That's, There's no that's proof one. to it. Yeah. Unless you use ending up in prison for smoking some of it, a, 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 an answer. <laughs> well, I'm there's, grab there's something. no I'll proof right that the flu shot is good for you. And yet, over the years, it has been, and now it's starting, it's like a pendulum kind of thing. The pendulum is now swinging away from that bullshit again. To see, well, and you know, pendulum, it, it just, things just, what? Mm, okay, I know what I want to say, but I can't get it formulated yet uh, all right well i see this as a, a divisive measure used by the system yes to keep us apart and it works okay it works so good on people that they think it's their own idea yeah yeah and that's that's why the system latched onto that method so early on because it does work because human nature yep we don't like to be told we can't do something. Yeah. But 90% of the people that you tell them not to, they'll listen. And that 10% is going to go, wait a minute, who the hell are you? And out of those 10 people, blah, blah, blah. See, mm -hmm. that's, where, that's where we're at. We're, we're on the fringe of this electronic society, you know. We're not really a, like the Twitter and the, what is it, Facebook and all that horse shit. Mm-hmm. The reason I just uh, don't give a fuck about any of it and keep saying fuck so that it, they'll not put me on it is because the people that use that, they would never be interested in this. They don't want to have fun and listen to weirdos talk about, you know, what may be mundane to them. They, they got more important things to do. 
They're not open to the outside world. They pretend to be, but they're not. Where if you are open to the outside world, as some of us on the RLM truly are, it brings you a better result. You get what you want out of this thing. You just got to get your brain in tune with being aware of it. And it's a 24-hour thing. You can't not remember it. For, then you got to start all over again. It's not as easy as I'm making it sound. I'm admitting I can't do it because I know from experience. But when I have those moments where I remember it, that's when it's all better. Yeah. Mm. Well, I was honest with you. You were gone for so long with your work that I started to take it personal and think, hey, this woman I spoke to for years, just all of a sudden, no more Saturdays. And See, I was seeing it in a negative light. Instead of you're working yourself, you're trying to catch up, blah, blah, blah. You got to do this stuff. Nobody else is going to do it for you. I made it about me. But yeah. I told you so. So, well, that clears it up. See, when you tell people what you really think about shit, then nobody's lying anymore. That's right. But it's that simple. I know. If, and yet you, it's not easy. It's very simple, but it's not easy. A lot I of still people. To, go ahead. Okay, but to remember when I told you on the air once, I said, I defy any of you to go to one of your public representatives and look that man or woman in the face and ask them out loud, do you think you're better than me? And watch them react to it. They will just be so uncomfortable you'd watch a snake slithering into a hole yeah because the reality of that is yeah of course i do you voted for me i'm the superior here what are you talking to me like that for underling and this is what people worship this is what they want what they want to become no so i found a world where hey people ain't like that and i also found a little bit of a physical reality where the people that gather share that a similar mindset to that, you know, hey, we're here, we're doing it, you know, their rules are okay, we we draw the line with this. You know, you get violent or stupid, you're out, but, you know, if you want to smoke a cigarette and have a beer, that's okay. Yeah. Right, well, most of us don't get so fucked up drinking that we want to fight the whole bar. Yeah. But in a... In a neighborhood place, you'll have the people that own it. Would They know their people. So that controls anything from getting out of hand. Mm-hmm. You know, and the small community, bah. I always fall back on that one. But it's the same. Every If you drank and you've ever hung out at a bar where everybody knows you by your face or your name, one or the other, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. And if you, oh, yeah. If you haven't, yeah, but if you haven't done that physical thing, then you you just be hearing blah, 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 blah. Weirdos talking, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, art. Art is being 55 years old, but I'm mean as fuck. Well, eh, I'm not mean as fuck. What am I mean yeah. as? I think I'm as mean as you are. You know, I I feel in my representations on the interwebs of life, both in print and in voice, I'm just giving you what you gave me. Yeah. But yeah. what I do what I do underestimate, and this is going to really sound really bad in the long run, is I underestimate how uh, I appear to other people. I don't think anything big thing of it, and I get wow, that's sarcastic, and I just type something. To me, it's just a shit on the screen. doesn't mean anything. The next thing I know, I'm insulting people. I go, wow, this is cool. Then I that's take off on it. Yeah, then they they in, they internalize. And that's, right, but yeah. see, that negative, if I wasn't creating that negative, then I wouldn't be fulfilling my obligation in, in the job that I have in this game that we're playing. Because I stir up shit. I'm a shit disturber. That is exactly what I've been doing. All along. And I'm not using deception and trickery. I'm using the exact opposite uh, of truth, and this is reality. Yeah. So if, if you're taking medication and you go to doctors and all that, and you know what I know and you've experienced what I've experienced, wow. So I can only assume if you're doing the, the doctor thing, then you haven't, you haven't seen it 
the way it really is yet. You're still seeing the pretty colors. Yeah. Because they promise you the moon, man, as long as you pay the bill. Yeah. Try not paying the bill and see how long those pills last. So that tells me deep down inside some part of my brain picks up, wait a minute, it's for profit, period, because if you don't have the money, they ain't going to help you. Well, help doesn't have a price. Yep. In my in my real life experience, people don't care. When they're helping you, they don't give a shit if you're black or white or purple or bleeding or shit yourself. They're helping you. Mm-hmm. They don't stop and have you fill out a fucking form first. And, well, let's see. Where was your grandmother born? <laughs> what what gender yeah. are you claiming to be today? Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. this sidetracking, separating, fucking divide and conquer nonsense worked. We got fucked again. Yep. Okay. Art Art Underground said that he's had so many people telling him he's mean, hateful, and despicable, and they can't all be wrong. You know, I used to tell my girls all the time that I was mean, cruel, vicious, downright dastardly, and all around not nice person, just because I said no. <laughs> so, you know, their perception of you, you don't have to wear their perception, hun. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, well, right, but we say that and say that and say that in so many different ways, but there's such a small audience in the first place. There's so few of us. And the ones that know it, know it. And the ones that don't understand it or don't use it, don't give a fuck. That's the whole point. Your reality and your life is exactly what you want it to be. We're just not taught that. We're taught we're victims of this bigger thing. Well, no, you're not a victim of it. You just don't know how to disengage it and get on the right track for yourself, whatever that may be. And the freer that somebody claims to be, the more other people pound on them for claiming it. Oh, yeah. And you know why? It's because they don't like you having something that they obviously don't realize they can do, too. It's like, yeah. what, 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 yeah. why are you, what, that's just not fair. I not really fail. Well, you know right. what? Well, I don't, I don't think I grew up. And latched onto that individual stand up for yourself, be, you know, that part never really took as good a hold on me as it should have. So I, I went for partnerships. I found a partnership was better for my existence than doing things all by myself. Oh, despisable. I'm sorry. I'm reading. Yeah, I'm listening to you and reading this. And it's like, yeah, I said you despicable. always do. You know, yeah, I know. Yeah, I do. Despisable. Once in a while. Despisable. Nah, why? Don't ruin it. Don't ruin a good thing now, Miss Mary. <laughs> I just broke you in and now you're going to change. Oh, my dork mind will go insane. No, oh, I I change all the time. Yeah. And you know, just that's what I mean about if you say um certain words in a certain tone, the people hearing you accuse you of saying what they heard. Well, yeah. maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. Maybe it ain't. I don't know. Just like I do. I But I confront you face to face. I don't think shit and talk behind your back about it. I go, hey, Mary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I know you yeah. do. Well, it's the key to my success with other people. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah is I'm so blatantly fucking honest about shit that the uncomfortable will pick up their crap and go away. Oh. They will not stay and suffer the intrusion of my honesty. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I always tell everybody, I don't suffer from insanity. I enjoy every moment of it. It's those around me that suffer. If they choose oh, to suffer or they yeah. can join in. Well, yeah, it's all a matter of interpretation there, little messy. But you mm -hmm. know what? You, you made it through a dork table. Yes, I did. All the way to the end where we start telling, because now there's a lot of shit going on. You know about all the other shows and stuff, right? Yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, open your schedule and read away, little missy. Let's see. Tomorrow at noon Eastern time will be Grimner, and he's going to be rocking the blues, rocking the blues. Yeehaw. Um, and there'll be a rousing <laughs> game of Trivial Pursuit going on. I know. I got three different musical genres going there. Um, <laughs> okay. Wow. 
Uh, yeah, we'll have some trivia going on in the chat as well. Directly following Grim will be behind the woodshed. Yeah, Hal Anthony's going to take you back there, and he's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on yo ass. Then directly following him at 5 p.m. Eastern time will be Straight Talk 101 with Art Underground. Yours truly will be back on Wednesday, but Vin- Vinny. <laughs> Hi, Vinny. Um, <laughs> Flash a Rooney dork. And uh, Rob, Rob works. works will be around on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time for In a Perfect World. So, yeah, all kind of fun stuff coming up here on the RLM and num 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 And Art does music on Tuesday and Thursday now, too. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Where is that? That's oh, a, yeah. Open your oh, schedule. Yeah. Art does, yeah, at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Rock and <sighs> where, Renegade. Where would you be without me? Um, <laughs> still sit here in front of the computer <laughs> with a cat on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pussies on the pussy. Yes. Oh, you goodness. know, we also have the Ocelli effect is on at 8 p.m. Uh, on Ocelli. channel 14, Monday through Friday. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Or, yeah. oh, and is he on right after? Cool. Uh, okay. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chuckles. Whoa. Chuckles is on. Hi, Chuckles. Chuckles. <laughs> Chuckles. Oh, yeah. Chuckles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chuck Ocelli. Yeah. yeah Chuckles. Yeah, Chuckles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he says you got it the third. You got it that time. Third time was the charm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cakes. Cakes is just chitter chattering away Looking i know all over the he oh. and moosey are chitter chattering about all of the exotic places they've been to and me i have just i've been to the uk and i've been to the airport in france and i've been <coughs> to the airport in the netherlands and i've been to the yeah. airport in canada <laughs> <laughs> yeah Canada. Well, and I've been on the East Coast several times, and that's like a whole foreign country as well. You know, when you're talking New York and New Jersey. So. Well, do you have do you have any plans to ever return here and bail me out on Dork Table again? Uh, I know I work next week, and the week after I have to go to see my mom because okay. sisters well, are getting just... together. So yeah, I'll I'll let you know. I'll let you know. You just feel free if you're around. Let me know on the uh, RLM Real Liberty Media dot com chat, and we'll connect you, Sweet. and we'll share our lovely ideas with the world. I know it will never be the same. Yeah. <laughs> That's what people just don't get. The world as you know it is never the same. When you go to bed at night and when you wake up in the morning, it's a completely different world. That's why we need you at the dork table, because most folks do not. Vinny does terrible trying to discuss this stuff with me. He sees the world so black and white sometimes, huh, Vinny, that he just drives me to insanity. Well, does he have a license for that? Doesn't matter. See, that's how Vinny is. He's such a rebel. He doesn't care if he's got a license or not. He'll still drive people to the crazy place. Yeah, but I don't care if he's licensed or not. I ain't going where I don't want to go. <laughs> Ooh, are you one of those that jumps out of the moving vehicle? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see. That's why are. I've never been abducted by aliens, because they know they can't keep the greasy hands on me. <laughs> I'd escape. <laughs> I'd use my dark power and outsmart them. Oh, my goodness. Hey, otherwise, you man, you think that the aliens would have passed somebody like me up? Come on. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Some alien out there writing a book about me and go, hey, you check this human out here. <laughs> check out what he did in 78. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we are a reality TV show for, well, wow, you know, you'd think they'd have the better things man. to watch than, man. Trump. Good God. All this political shit that even I catch a minute or two here and then try to remember the important shit. 
And then I still fucked it up because I thought they were making Indian American. I thought they were talking about the Indians. Because <laughs> I read that other woman's problem about claiming to be an Indian, but the woman that they're Oh Lord, I'm so confused. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> where where did that? I I I see the memes, but where did that number come from? I'm one one thousand twenty fourth Indian. What's her name? Warner. Yeah, Warner. Elizabeth oh, Warren. The, yeah. yeah, I got the two Warren. I got the two of them somehow connected, and I thought they were talking about Indian American as far as changing the name around. Now again, one more time for the future. So Indian American would be another American. Well, but see, I didn't think of India. Yeah, they've got another. <laughs> they've got another meme out now, though. That she said, "You guys got it all wrong. It's the other Indian, and she's dressed in a sarong. Is it a sarong? What? A, she's got the. <sighs> she's got the lovely draped clothing, and she's got the dot in the middle of her forehead. So it's like, oh, it's the other Indian. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Wow. No well, wonder I don't care. And with that, folks, we have done another. Dork table. Say goodnight, Alice. Goodnight, Alice.